Give some statistics. In 2015, Elon Musk said they, were, said they were going to be cash flow positive. They burnt $1.4 billion in cash that year. He missed those targets. In 2015, he said the Model S was going to have a, a, a gross margin of 25%. He said the Model X was going to have a gross margin of 30%. That year, they reported gross margins of 22%. I could go on and on. He's missed a lot of targets. He continues to miss targets. He continues to burn cash. I'm a financial analyst. I'm not an enthusiast. And, and for that fact, you got to look at the numbers, not, not you know, the man and be an enthusiast about a man. You have to look at the numbers. I think uh, if uh, the investors followed Gordon's logic, Amazon stock should have been a $2 stock and never recovered. So what Tesla is doing is they are creating an industry just like Amazon has created the industry. It is vehicle production. It is battery production. It is software. It is autonomous driving. It is supercharging. Whatever Tesla is doing today has never been created before. All the naysayers were expert in the previous version of the industry and they are completely clueless in the new industry that is being created as we speak. Think about it. Tesla's revenues this year is going to be about $20 billion. People are buying Model 3s without even test driving it. When did you see any product people are buying which is worth which is more than fifty thousand dollars without touching without feeling without driving and not no, only that object. this 20 billion 20 billion dollars in revenues is being generated by zero advertisement dollars this is the power behind tesla no other company anywhere on the planet comes even close since tesla's existence we've had no competition when i say competition 100 percent battery electric vehicle with over 200 miles of range. Last year you had the first car, the Chevy Volt. They, Tesla said in the first half of last year they were gonna grow Model S and X sales by 66%. The number was only 7%. Why? Because Chevy Volt came in and took a bunch of share. This year we have the Jaguar E-Pace, uh, I-Pace, we have the Audi e-tron, we have the Hyundai Kona, and we have the Nissan Leaf. All cars 100% BEV with over 200 miles of range. For the first time ever, they're having competition. VW, uh, Dieselgate for VW, they're coming in with a bunch of electric cars. They have real competition for the first time. They're not creating a new industry. The auto industry has been around forever, and they have real competition for people who know how to produce coming in. You have to look at cash flow. You have to look at their ability to, to, to compete. You're basing everything on belief in a man. You're a financial analyst. You're supposed to look at the numbers and, and do analysis. Final word, Trish. You are looking at the wrong numbers. The number is to look to look is revenues. How did they generate revenues and what the backlog is? What the about question? cash flow? What what what? If you don't what make any cash flow, how do you stay? How do you how do you remain what, as what, an what about, entity if you're burning billions of dollars every quarter? How? A question for you. How do you how do you these stay in all questions, if you're These all questions. These all are. Every quarter? These all are. These all are irrelevant. The only thing that, that matters question. to the stock, what does that matter to the stock? Nothing. It, it has nothing to do with stock. But it's not about price. stock price. What is what is what money, matters for the, the stock, stock is to zero. what matters for the what matters for the stock is. Are you an analyst? How big is the backlog? How big is the backlog? Show Let's me any of your competition personal. that you named, even if they have five cars in the backlog. None. Tesla has more than 14.5 billion dollars in backlog. No company in any industry, anywhere on the planet, has that much backlog. Why? Because it's, you need to have multi-dimensional competencies. That is, you should have capabilities and capacities in your production, in your supercharging stations, in your software. Think about it. People are talking about Waymo as an autonomous car. What you does it look like? Do you think you'll have that car in your garage? Nationwide? They look like a reindeer. So basically, when you think about autonomous, it is individual autonomous cars, it is fleet autonomous cars, yeah. and then urban density okay. cars. And there's only Just one company who has the foresight, software skills, and the intellect, and that is Tesla. You know, it's a all, great don't even come close. Look at your competition you name. Do they have software okay. skills? No. Do they have superchargers? No. Do they have gigafactory? No. Do they have a backlog? But do you no. Realize Which competition are you talking about? Network right. nationwide. Gentlemen. No, it wasn't a hiccup. It is exactly showing what Tesla is all about. They are creating the industry, and investors are only focused on one thing. Company as a whole. Having a piece, Model 3, is a small piece in the whole puzzle. It is Tesla Energy. It is Tesla Neural Networks. It is Tesla Software. 
and Tesla Vision first devices, which is Model S, Model X, and Model 3. So everything is on plan. Okay. 